Hey, it's Steve with Surf Skate Love coming to you from St. George, Utah. Today we are teaching you how to pump on a surf skate. And instead of just teaching to the camera, I decided it would be better for you as the learner, as the viewer, to watch other learners learn with you. So I grabbed a couple buddies who have longboarding and skateboarding experience, but no surf skating experience. And I'm going to teach them live how to pump on a surf skate. And as they learn, you're going to learn right alongside them. So really quickly, say your name and what experience you have with any kind of board sports. Dave, I've done wakeboarding and snowboarding. I'm Alex and I'm uh, experienced in snowboarding, uh, a little bit in uh, skateboarding and longboarding. This is my first time on a surf skate. So I'm a little excited. So bottom line, they have some experience with board sports. They can get on a board, they can balance on a board, and now it's just a matter of learning the actual pump actions. So let's grab a surf skate and learn how to pump. Okay, I'm gonna start on the Carver Green Room with the Carver C7 trucks. I think that's probably a really good beginner truck to learn on. And this is a good uh, size. This is about a 34 inch board. For these guys' it's height, it's gonna be perfect. Let me uh, do this live, and then I'll slow it down for you guys and walk you guys through it. Okay, so it's just an expansion and contraction. Contract and expand, contract and expand. <laughs> Doing this in real slow motion here, and then we'll keep to the motions. So that's a really basic pump, really slow motion pump on a surf skate. So what are, are you guys regular or goofy foot? I'm regular. I'm regular. goofy with my right foot forward here. So you're goofy, you're regular. So stand in your regular stance as if you were, uh, if we're going this way, that's exactly your stance. The first mistake that I see people make with surf skating is they see the back and forth action, the twisty body motion and then try to just do that. In fact, let me just show you what that looks like. Most people will try to just wiggle it with their toes That's what I was doing all the way here. while kind of swinging their, their hands a little bit like this. And you know, you can do that and it'll work. You can just wiggle a surf skate with your toes and it'll work. But that's not the, this is not the action we're looking for. With surf skating, think surfing. And with surfing, it's a lot of knees. So the first thing that I teach people, before you learn the twisting upper body motions, you wanna learn knee flexibility. So right now I want you to get in your stance as if we're going this way, and I want you to just basically, just go as deep as you can. That's it, that, that deep. Because the number one mistake I see people make is they're just really, really stiff up on their boards. And especially skateboarders and longboarders try to do all the action basically in their legs and in their feet. That's what you're used to. Well, surf skating is all upper body, but it's upper body mixed with the knee expansion and contraction. So the basic movement is just like in surfing, when I'm coming down and then I come up, I'm going to push with my back foot. So if my toe on this foot is pushing back, my heel on this foot is pushing forward and okay. vice versa if i'm going this way this heel is pushing me that way and this toe is pushing me that way but we're controlling it more with our upper body it's like shoulders hips follow and then the feet follow shoulders and hips but your timing as you're doing the twist you're you're timing a contraction and expansion so i contract expand and explode coming out. So let's show you this in slow motion. Go down, come up, go down, come up. And you're gonna see this, uh, my left arm, it's my left arm for me since I'm goofy, if you're regular, it'll be your right arm. You're gonna see me basically reach forward almost like I'm swimming. And then I, when I come back, I want you to imagine my hand is attached to a stick on that foot because it's kind of pushing the same okay. thing so watch that motion for a second i push down and my foot goes back reach forward push back reach forward push back see the knees coming up and down knees coming up and down 
That's basic pump. Okay, so. Bend those knees, bend those knees. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, there it is. It's a little, that's a little challenging. It's just that coordination. <laughs> Woo. Okay, okay. Oh, a couple more runs. Oh, now, yeah. you, you got the foot positioning naturally, and I forgot to mention that. The very first thing you need to know on a surf skate is foot positioning. So, uh, on a longboard, you're used to probably riding it uh, up in here, kind yeah. of a thing. Uh -huh. With the surf skate, your back foot is kind of acts as your pivot, so you actually want it right on the tail. Okay. okay. So you start on a tail, and then your front foot, you want to be right behind those front trucks. You totally got it the first time. And now we're going to add, I, I showed you how when we uh, compress and then expand and we push that leg out, yeah, that's what kind of gives you that drive. Uh -huh. Now you're going to do it the same way coming this way. So you got this first motion that way. Now you're going to do the same thing the other way, pushing that way. And now we're going to add this side to it to push that way. So when I'm coming this way, that leg is pushing back. When I come this way, now that leg is pushing out. And so now you've got that contraction and expansion on both legs. So let's try that again. So you're seeing how the, the knees coming up and down are coordinating with the, the upper body movement. Move your feet back. There you go. Back knee, back knee. Back knee is not contracting with expansion. So on a longboard, you're pretty evenly weighted. Mm -hmm. On a surf skate, I have the, the bulk of my weight yeah. on my back foot. Oh, got it. At the back leg drives was, everything. Yeah, I was feeling that on coming here, like my little would pop up a little bit. Yes. But, yeah. Yep. The back leg is your driver, and that's that the, that's that's the spring. spring. So we're going to time this kind of reach forward with my arm with that back hand or back foot. I mean, so reach it, reach your. I, I want you, Dave, your next time, I want you to reach forward with your hand and then push your foot back as you come back, like this. So reach, push, reach, push, reach, push. Okay, reach and push, baby. I'm just starting to choke. <laughs> there goes my gum, too. <laughs> You're trying to do it all with your front foot. <clears throat> Okay, reach. Your body weight is resting more in your front foot than your back, and you're trying to do everything in your front foot. Okay, yeah. That's so just, accurate. first of all, just stand here. Stand here with me right here. Okay. Just settle down into a stance with flexi knees. Okay. Feel your weight shift onto your front foot. Uh -huh. That's front foot for you. Yeah. Now just go slightly back. Okay. You're, don't lean, but more just kind just of. put it there. Yeah. You feel the weight more on your back leg? For sure. That's your stance. Okay. And the power isn't coming from you doing stuff with your front foot. It's coming from you compressing uh -huh. and then springing up expansion and that push back with the toe. Okay. Put that back foot more on the tail. There it is. Are you, do you feel that difference? Way different. Yeah. yeah. I was using my front foot the whole time. Yes. Uh, this, yeah, it's because where that's where my weight was for sure. Yeah. Okay, Alex, give it a shot. Okay. Oh, there it is. There it is. There's a pump. First time he's ever ridden a. Surf skate, and there he is it's... pumping. So Alex, you picked up on it very intuitively. Honestly, the only thing for you to add 
is just the other motion swinging around. Yeah, I was trying to figure that out. I was, I was trying to get that other motion in with it, but it was kind of just, yeah, a little more practice. But I definitely, I can feel the flow. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. One thing that's really going to help you guys is uh, filming yourself. It's amazing how much you see when you film yourself. I, I think that I'm kind of a good surf skater until I film myself and I watch myself and I'm like, oh my gosh, <laughs> I have so much to improve. And usually it all comes down to just that knee flexibility that I notice in me. So I'm gonna come skating towards you and I want you to film me in slow motion and then we'll watch the action in slow motion. <clears throat> So the reach and the hand and the back foot match together. Mm -hmm. And I'm really kind of just exaggerating that first swing. Mm -hmm. But when you start adding the other foot, you'll twist that way more with that back foot pushing out. That okay. was cool. Once you feel the motion, I can do it without you really even noticing much, but I'm right now I am compressing and expanding. Yeah. Well, it's not much motion, but it's there. It's almost easier to learn how to pump in slow motion. You, you can get, most people get on and they try to do this. But I can get more power out of it by just doing this and this. Just a slow, just to come down and push, that's it. So then if you want to go fast, you're just speeding everything up. And it's all that knee flex. Yep. There it is. Travel straight along this line. Okay. And get both motions coming back now. Ten minutes, Alex has learned how to pump on a surf skate. Yeah, this is fun. I enjoy it. There it is, eh? Okay, Dave, your whole problem is coordination. Okay. So both of you guys come over here real quick. Stand in the line right here and stand in the position as if you were skating this way. So I want you to stand in your stance and we're going to kind of just go through the movement. It's almost like a your body, your upper body is twisting in conjunction with that twist. So you first got this expansion and contraction, expansion, and contraction. Yeah. And then it's adding your, with surf skating, your shoulders lead, your hips follow, and then your hips follow. So it's all upper body, but you're timing this with that expansion and contraction. So. This is one of the big things that I love so much about surf skating is that body fluidity. With longboarding, you're kind of just standing up there and just cruising, yeah. kind of cruising. But with surf skating, it's a whole body fluidity. So you almost want to just to practice, just kind of stand here, getting used to that expansion and contraction and that upper body just kind of gliding. Now let's put it all together on a surf skate. First of all, in fact, here's, here's one thing that I teach people. When you're first starting out, just glide and just practice doing this to learn that knee bend. Just go like this. Then you can start adding some expansion to it. Contract, expand. Contract, expand. So now you can see the whole body working together. And if I want to get a push, it's all that back leg in either direction, either this way or that way. All back way. But I can just glide. You see that back leg, Dave? Yeah. <laughs> That'll go on the glo blooper reel. <laughs> okay, give it a shot. It was weird not to try and pump, but yeah. Yeah, that'll get you used to that leaf fluidity 
and contraction and expansion. You're twisting your body at the wrong time. Yeah, it's your, really your upper body movements are not coordinated with your lower body. Yeah, it feels backwards actually. Again, think as, you, as this hand reaches through, pushes back with your foot. Yeah. Like there's a, think, there, imagine that you've got a stick in your hand attached to your foot, so as you push through, your foot pushes back. Like so. Okay, now it might actually be helpful for you to speed things up. So now try to get a bit of a faster motion. There is a switch kick on right there. Oh, this guy is real sad. So Back hand forward, time it with the foot. Instead of pushing out that behind you with your foot, uh -huh. all you're doing is going up and down. Okay, go up and down. Okay. And then as you as you come up, that back leg pushes out like a spring. Okay. But get on get on a roll a little bit. Yeah. You're pushing the wrong way. Oh. Reach this hand, push. The back foot, push. 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 Whew. All I can say to it is just it feels like a constant, like, just a flow. So, like, yes. you just gotta, like, get in the groove. If you're, like, boxing and if you're hitting a speed bag it's all about timing so yeah, it's like you just rhythm. gotta it's just yeah. the rhythm think of it as like a wave so like you can like get both hands just like move mm -hmm. like because that for me both hands moves my hips a simple way to visualize that alex is to simply do kind of a you'll see how on these surf skates because they're so responsive your body weight shifts everything. So to practice what he was just saying I can just do a body weight glide like this So once you kind of get get the feel for how this feels in action, well now I can start pumping into that. And the other thing, Dave, is you're getting this up and down, but you're not getting the coordinating of the up and down with your body. It's twisted. Yeah, I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing with the arms. Like they just don't feel connected to what I'm doing. Yeah. So just try, try just a basic kind of a glide and shift your body weight and just start to do this kind of a upper body fly thing. There you go. Bend your knees, bend your knees, push. Bend your knees, push. Bend your knees, push. Yeah, using two hands helps a lot. There you go. Nice. Ooh. There it is. Yeah. So now reach forward that back hand with your pump. That's totally different than what I was doing before. Uh. And now uh, remember that back hand reach forward is almost like you're swimming. You go reach forward like you're swimming. Swimming. Yeah. You know how to swim. I know how to swim. Come down deeper, deeper, okay. deeper, deeper, deeper. There you go. There is a surf skate pump. And just like that, he's surf skating. Nice. Yeah, I think it was the arm. That made a huge difference. Yeah, I definitely wasn't catching the backside either. Like I can feel two pumps now. Yes. You both got the basic actions. Now let's work on your speed. Try to put it all together now to, at a faster speed. Go to your slow motion, get that contraction, expansion, and then you can just speed everything up. Now 
There it is. This is your first time ever step, stepping foot on a surf ski, right? Yes, sir. Dude, well what is a half Looks hour solid. Alex is surf skating like a pro? I know I was, it's easier than I thought. I was gonna I thought I was gonna have trouble with it, so I was a little nervous at first, but I mean we picked it up pretty quickly. Nice. It was a blast. You are getting that first contraction and expansion and push pretty good. Uh huh. But then you don't get the other one coming back. So I want you to practice. So stand here for a second like this. This and, is the one where you're pushing your heel. Right? I want you to practice just going like this. Okay. Swing your whole body so you feel that real good, full, complete twist. Like we're on the crunch. Like uh, when you come this way, look over your shoulder. Okay. Look over your shoulder. Get that real full twist because then you're going to get it both ways. So now do a real full, as you go, do a full twist. So now instead of just getting one uh, part of it, uh -huh. you're going to get both parts of it coming through as you twist. Okay. There it is. Now coordinate that with coming up and down on your knees. I can feel it when it fits in. Twist more back. Back. There you go. There it is. Oh, yeah. There you go. There it is. You come up and then you stop. Okay. When you come up, I want you to basically look over your right shoulder. Yes. So watch this in motion. For you to fully engage that of the twist coming up out of your compression, look back over this shoulder, like so. So I'm twisting, coming down, and then lean. Lean. So you're basically kind of going like this, and just going like this. Yeah. But if you get that uh, other arm to move, I feel like. In there. Yeah, like, so like, so your, your front arm, what I'm noticing, you're, you're moving it, but it's not like. Yes. Watch me come up, clear back like so. Clear back. Swing, swing those arms to get the feel for that like so. Swing your arms like this. Okay, so if you can get that, uh, this motion, uh -huh. and then just time it with the knees, that's a pump. That's it. There you go. Check it out. In a half hour, you are a first pro. Hell yeah. Oh, this is fun, dude. Like, I didn't expect anything like this. Uh, first 30 minutes of this, I was like, dude, I'm getting one for sure. I gotta get, I gotta look up the C the Yao board. Yeah. So, no, it's fun. It's a blast. So there you have it. How to pump on a surf skate. In an hour, we've taken two newbies and they've picked it up and they already know how to pump. Uh, so just to recap here again, foot positioning on your board, back foot on your back tail, front foot right behind those front trucks. Start by getting that knee flexibility because it's all about that expansion and contraction. Then you're gonna learn how to reach with that back hand, time it pushing that back uh, foot, and then you're gonna start adding these twisty body motions to your expansion and contraction, and that's how it works. So guys, in conclusion, what would you tell beginners like what are the things that you kind of picked up on as you were learning this that you would tell beginners um like once again foot position and then make sure you're uh fluid make sure you're just going with the flow i felt like uh at first my feet were off and it made it very hard it made me stiff once you get your feet in the right position you cruise you flow a little more and uh i feel like that was a big difference that helped me today Awesome. How about you, Dave? What pointers would you give to beginners? So I definitely felt out of sync at first. I didn't even really feel like my hands were connected to what my feet were doing. So, but the thing that changed it for me was just standing on the board and then doing this, honestly. And then it, you could, your, your feet just moved the board and I could feel the flow. Once I had that flow down, then it was a lot easier to, you know, put in the pump to get the up and down everything because this just naturally makes your board do one of those. So uh, for me, that was the huge click moment was getting that arm motion, the back shoulder, 
like that. So yeah, that was it. Awesome. Thanks guys. And that is how to pump on a surf skate. So let's go pump on a surf skate.